cool. Um, I'm Philip Russell. Um, I'm a photographer, a creative, a creative director. I've done a lot. Yeah. Okay. What was your very first camera? My very first camera was a Canon T6. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you was you was stepping up. Yeah, yeah. T6. Yeah, okay. yeah. I started with the T6. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I had a guy who was doing weddings and he um recommended it and I just picked it up. Mm-hmm. What is like the perfect location for you to shoot? Like perfect to location to shoot. Inside, outside. Outdoor, yeah. I, I really I everything I do is normally outdoor. Um I'm recently just got into the studio a little bit more. But uh yeah, just outdoor sun shining. Um, I'm really good at like the sunny 16 rule. I can look at the sun and tell you like you need to pose this way, you need to face this way. Like so, yeah, outdoor. That's absolutely. Next, that's next level. I'm trying I'm to trying, be I'm like trying. you. Hey, 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 appreciate you. Um, what is one struggle you feel like you overcame in photography? Whether it's like learning some equipment, learning like well, you just learned self doubt. How to use the sun? So. Yeah, yeah, no, no, right, right. <laughs> um, self doubt, self doubt, okay. doubting my work, doubting my ability. Um, doubting the time I put in and the experience, just really just sitting there and going to a shooting like ah, I really can't do this or I can't produce what I'm looking for, and that's not true. Like enough time with with enough knowledge and enough experience, you can do anything. You know. Do you think that stems from like as an artist seeing people who like create how you like or like create things that you think are cool? Do you think like those things mm-hmm. like? give you that stuff that like y'all I know I like this picture I'm mm. trying to recreate it and I didn't so maybe I'm not as good do you think that's for it? me personally it's more like in that aspect those people inspire me and especially it's like something to kind of shoot for but whenever I'm like trying to recreate something I always try to recreate it in my image and how I see it in, in my head and and then I think about the story and then I think about what what am I trying to convey with this person or this image or this thing, you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't, I think the doubt thing just is kind of as a creative, like, oh man, I want people to like my work. But now that I'm four years going in five, now I'm like, do I like this? Mm-hmm. It's more about me now. It's more about my client or whoever I'm working with. Do they like this? And again, what message or what story are we trying to keep, like convey through these images? So do you mm-hmm. have a nine to five or you just, yeah, yeah I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you balance that? And like all the time you need to be a creative. (laughs) Funny enough, um, it just, that time management is key and it's hard. It's it's hard. Uh, I I, I just, I use a calendar. (laughs) Like if I want to be honest with you, real basic, real simple. I just use a regular basic calendar on the iPhone and I just tell people what I can do and what I can't do. And I don't get bogged down by things I can't do because the opportunity is going to come. As long as I keep producing good work and building relationships, I know my shot's gonna come. So that's how I feel about that. Do you put like a year or an amount on when you feel like you can leave your nine to five and just solely mm. do photography? That's that's a great question. Um, I feel I feel like when I know it's going, I know. Uh, especially, I don't think I I don't want to quantify. I don't want to put time on it where I'm like okay, in a year, like, I can do this. Like, if I'm being honest, the, the amount of skill I have, I can do it right now. But it, it's the, it's more, it's more to run a business and marketing. So the things that I lack that I could improve and then so I could feel better about it. So I really just going to, I feel like for me, it's not about time. It's more about like when I know it's right, when I feel it's right. I'm very big on like emotion, especially with my work. So, mm-hmm. Okay. So I seen on your page, you have some pretty mm-hmm. like, dope concepts and your mm-hmm. photographs and your photography. Appreciate that. What, what like, space do you go through or what helps you come up with, like, the concept? Because, like, you know, every yeah. nothing's new under the sun, pretty much. Absolutely. Um, there's nothing like, original now. <laughs> yeah, what helps you come up with those concepts? Honestly, what helps me come up with concepts, music and film. Just all things that are... people. That's why when people get mad about concepts being taken and things, like... Nothing's original anymore. You feel me? Like, and everything, but everything that me or you were about to produce right now is going to be original to somebody else. You know what I mean? So what, for me, it's literally, I just grew up on hip hop, R&B, um, gospel, soul, just in music in general, watching how they would make music videos and how things would be color graded and 
just how things would be shot and acted in films. It really kind of just inspires me to just make the images I make. Um, and the people, the people I meet. Sometimes I can look at a person and I already know what I want them to do. Or what, well, I already see them in frame doing something specific from a film. Like we could recreate it or even make it our, again, make it our own image. So, yeah, music and film is definitely the biggest inspiration for the concepts that I make. What are some of your go-to artists for concepts? Hmm. I don't really, I'll be honest with you, I don't really have like specific go-to artists. But right now I'm heavily inspired by like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Um, I really like the, the visuals for Baby Keem and his music videos. Um, Giveon's team, the way that they do his music videos. Music videos right now is my thing right now. I'm like in a music video phase. And so like you ask me this question in a couple weeks, a month now, I'll be like, oh, these movies is what's, what's got me going right now. So it just depends. Okay, yeah. so you have like this uh, glow or this mist yeah. type filter on your mm -hmm. pictures. What, what do you think they add to the photo overall? For me, I'm trying to take you somewhere. I'm trying to make you, I'm trying to take you to, I, try, I, I use black promise filters for cinematic looks, but I'm really trying to, when you see the image, I want it to take you somewhere on the journey. Or, and it's it's kind of like, I want it to be a little mystical, you know what I mean? A little bit of like, I want people to look at it with curiosity, you know? Because when I see something like that, when I see that in a film or when I'm seeing films do use that stuff, it's really cinematic and then you're really looking around at the whole background and you're thinking like, oh, what's the story behind this one frame? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, that's why I use that. That's why I look for that. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So also on your page, you mm -hmm. are doing, well, like, kind of at the top, it's like more right. uh, festival. Yeah, and concert like, stuff. Concert yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you get in the mindset of like going to do action shots versus mm -hmm. like, I'm going to tell you how to pose and you stay yeah. still for a good three seconds and I got yeah. it. No, no, that's, that's a really good question. Um, Recently, I've been doing a lot of bigger like festivals and just concerts in general. And the, for me personally, it's kind of like uh, the way I put it, it's like the Olympics. Because as a photographer, normally you're, or just in general, as a creative, you're all, your creative direction, your your skills, and your eye is very important. And for me... It just was the point when you're doing concert photography is very fast paced. And so switching gears like that, it is a little nerve wracking. But um, all, all the experience that I've had in events, in event photography in general, and weddings that I've done really just brought me to that point. So it's really just about switching gears, like knowing that I'm not going to have time to change lenses, knowing that this per I only got three songs and that's X amount of time, you know, just understanding the situation. And doing and understanding what's in front of you and doing your best is all you can do. Honestly. Which style do you think you have perfected first um, when it comes to photography? Mm -hmm. So out of the portrait, landscapes, mm -hmm. and events, which one do you think you perfected first? Landscapes. Um, I have a whole other page that no one really knows about. That's just landscapes. Um, no one. When I first started photography, no one let me take their portraits. So, but I wanted to. I was really invested in heavily trying to just shoot, you know, just, just any, I didn't matter what it was. So landscapes. So I would just drive, I would drive out hour, two hours just for a small, like a mountain or a tree or something I saw on Instagram that just something that inspired me. And so, yeah, landscapes is where I started. And then it just kind of trickled down from there. I learned all like shutter speed, aperture, ISO. I learned all that through that. And once you learn those basics, it really does translate into portraits, even though you know, you're shooting an inanimate object versus shooting an actual mm -hmm. person that moves and things. So I really, yeah, landscape is definitely something I like. Like I like street photography too. Most people don't even know I do street photography. Like they just, they just see like the creative portraits and whatnot. Like I've done it all, and I think I keep landscapes and street photography to myself more because it's a slower process, and I like that because sometimes I need to slow down. After doing so many jobs and gigs and creative things, sometimes I just wanna, I just wanna chill, you know. I wanna make things for me. When I when I make photography now, you asked me earlier about the whole like getting over something like self self doubt. The way I got over self doubt is by shooting landscapes and really just honing in on one form of it so I can branch out to do more. That's it. Okay. 
Dang, landscapes are different, different though. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's patience. You just it's you and you looking at something, and a lot of time I did that to kind of clear my head. You know, yeah. Because sometimes, like you know, like I. When you're doing so, so much creative stuff and you're trying to make your original content and or you're just trying to make content in general, sometimes you just need a you need something you need to go back and enjoy the thing that got you in in it for the first place. Mm-hmm. And that's just how I feel. Yeah, I, I I weirdly watch Barbara videos. Oh, see, that's cool. So like, I watch I have my own videos that I, I watch too. Yeah, I'm like you know yeah. line people up for that's kind of yeah. cool. But this is one dude I follow. Okay. Um, his name is Three Sixty Jeezy, and okay. e- before he like goes to like do more work like mm-hmm. detail work he just is like oh you need to take your eyes off the head so you mm-hmm. can pretty much like readjust your eyes so i feel like like that with with you choosing like landscape or like the street photography like mm-hmm. you needed to take your eyes off Facts. of this Perfect. so you can be like yep. oh when i come back to it mm-hmm. i'm gonna bust it down a whole different way y'all not even gonna be expecting it, exactly that's okay. exactly how i feel I yeah see, that's good. You, got you got it you got it um you also do uh Product photography. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. What was your first product you ever shot? Hmm, that's real. First product that I was proud of that I shot. Um, my brother had a clothing line, but and real proud of that. But um, I think first time doing it paid. Um, another friend has jewelry, earrings. It was it, she did earrings. Yeah, it was just earrings, and um, yeah, it was amazing. I, I'll tell you, product photography is different because. We, I feel like it's one of the most creative processes because of the fact you literally control everything that is in front of you. From how you, you can put a fan and make the earrings blow and you change the lighting and you can change a whole mood and direction just by moving certain things around in the environment. So a lot of creative control. Yeah, but product was earrings. Mm. What's one black um, product you would like to shoot? Hmm. That's really good. Um, if if you add, if it's up to me, I want to really implore my friends, black owned friends, because okay. they're the ones that put me on, and I would want to grow with them as I've grown in my journey. Um, if I were doing a bigger one, I like Tofa. I, I like I like the bags. I, I think I really like how they market their brand in general, and I like what they stand for and. Yeah, I, I think I think I like that. I just like all the different colors. All my friends, my homegirls, they have the bag. Like, it just it's cool. It's a cool statement to have. But also, when you're taking photos and like you need an accessory, crazy. Like, so I think that's that's the brand I would really like to work with. Like going forward on products. Mm-hmm. What is one shoot that you did and you felt like everything was going wrong? Probably from like the setup to like getting the shots and you still just getting shots, but everything came out fire. Like nobody knew none of this happened, um, but you and a person or you and a product that were there. Dang, that's a real good one. Uh, I do event photography too, and I had a family last minute hit me up, and I went there. And I'm not—I wouldn't say I'm super confident with flash, but I do my thing. And I, but I've been doing so many events. See, self doubt. Told you, trying to get through that. <laughs> um, Literally was taking photos and they were over, they were overexposed, underexposed, just couldn't get it right. Just kept, couldn't get it right. But the one thing I learned, especially been doing events for so long, is you got to just move past that. Because at the end of the day, like, you're shooting for X amount of time. You're going to have good shots. Mm-hmm. We, just keep taking them, keep adjusting, and breathe. That, those are, those, that's my rules when I'm doing something like that. When I know something's going wrong, especially when shooting... Just breathing and water and just taking a break, stepping back. Like, you can't just always be in, in the mess all the time. Like, sometimes you got to, like, like you were saying about the, like, looking at someone's head in the lineup. Just take a step back. Let your eyes readjust. Absolutely. So. Okay. What's one new thing you want to do with photography, either before the year end mm-hmm. or for the new year? For the new year, I'm looking to, I want my own studio for the new year. That, that's definitely the big goal. Um, and double downing on studio, like, more editorial stuff. Um, and then this year, Billboard magazine. It's each year, it's always one magazine, one Billboard. And when I get them, <laughs> you gonna know. <laughs> it's soon. It's coming. It's coming. So. Would you ever start your own magazine? I mean, you got you got the photos. Well, funny enough, I've been like on like between me and you, I've been in six. So okay. like, 
Like, yes and no. I If I do it, my big thing is putting other people on. Mm-hmm. Especially because other people like other people put me on to get to where I'm at right now. Especially when it came to like just learning photography. So yes, I could see myself doing it, but in reality I wouldn't put any of my own work in it. I put everyone else's work in there. That's just me. I mean maybe you know. maybe or maybe if you do like a collective a collective type magazine mm-hmm. that's where it's like you bring probably like five to ten new photographers I into like, like each series. But you slide some of yours in there because they got I, you're right. You know, you got to put. You got to put. Yeah, you got to plug yourself yeah, in plug somewhere. somewhere. Right, right. You, know you can't just be a like, name on the book. Oh, you got this like, dope magazine. And you're like, oh yeah, did you see page thirty seven? That was me. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got it. No, you right, kid. You right. I get it. And we're done. That's it. That's it. That was super.